welcome to another weekly vlog. Me and my husband and our dog Sunday have now moved on to my brother's boat. We're moored in Hackney Wick in London. Life is feeling quite different to what we used to and it's been feeling pretty busy. But luckily I've managed to squeeze in lots of work bits while I've been here. So I'm doing lots of events and lots of networking. The week actually kicked off in Richmond and I went to a Piglet in Bed event. They do the most gorgeous bedding and nightwear. So you'll get to see bits of that. And thanks so much for joining me this week. I hope you enjoy this vlog. I'm just at a clinic event now in London and I've had such a busy day and running around and like carrying loads of stuff. I'm really looking forward to seeing what this is about. I don't go to many skincare things so I think it's going to be really interesting and um, I'm feeling a bit, you know you've been wearing the same thing all day. I literally left the house at like eight this morning and now it's like six so <laughs> I'm feeling a bit like I need to refresh but this is what we're working with. The clinic event was super interesting. They scanned my face using an iPad and then they prescribed me certain products. On my way to the Laura Ashley event, it's in Central, so I got the tube here this morning and I'm really excited because I just love this brand so much. <laughs> Hello. I found George. It looks a lot warmer than it is, by the way. That's why we're in coats. And... It looks amazing, though. Yeah, it looks nice. We've decided that we're going to walk through Hyde Park and go to Cafe Kitsune because I really want to try the strawberry matcha. And then we'll probably back, head back to the boat after that, right? Yeah, probably. Unless there's something you want to do. And Sunday is loving the walk. She's so joyful. She's um, had a lot of off lead time. We actually decided to sack off the, ca the cafe kit soon because when we got there there was nowhere to sit inside and it was a bit chilly so we've come back to Hackney Wig and we're in this food marketplace and I'm going to get this falafel wrap which I was going to get last week and then I didn't so I've been thinking about it ever since. It's so good. Worth the wait. It's huge too, half it's the same size as my head. It's really good. We're back home now and I've just been doing a little bit of work on my laptop. It's meant to be our day off today but I just had loads of things to catch up on because of just like moving around and stuff and like being out at events. So I had to do that and then George had a very big nap. They sent me some, they gave us some gorgeous slippers um, at the Laura Ashley event. I love these, they're so cute. They look really like quite vintage looking I guess and <laughs> yeah they're really fun so I was thinking we haven't got any food in at all so we probably need to go and do that I think there's a big supermarket at Stratford which is quite close to us um, but then we've got little shops and then there's also the refillable shop which I'd quite like to go to because then we can get like little bits rather than like needing to get like full packets of stuff because yeah we can just get some of the stuff that we normally use and it's fun to have a browse in there anyway and then I can plan for breakfast and stuff tomorrow and um, really excitingly I am working with ASOS so I mean I've shopped at ASOS for 
years and years and years and still do and yeah they sent me a voucher and the pieces have arrived i was thinking maybe i could show you them if you're interested the laura ashley event today was just so gorgeous i just love that brand so i wore my laura ashley dress and this is the Bathsheba collaboration so i wore this to it and they had we had breakfast and then there was also a catwalk at the same time and a presentation basically and they were showing the new collection and then the archive pieces and it was just so nice to like see them side by side and the archive dresses were just i mean the new pieces were great but like it's just exciting seeing archive pieces isn't it and like stuff that was actually from the 70s and yeah there were so many pieces from the collection that i the new collection that i really liked there was this one blouse in particular that i just thought would be incredible it, was, it had it came in white and then a blue pattern but i just thought the white is one of those pieces that you'd have forever i actually have a blouse that i always wear which is from zara and i've had that about i remember i bought it for my birthday like five years ago and it was kind of the same a similar kind of thing to that like something that you just will have in your wardrobe and rewear. So yeah, it was really nice, it was really lovely. And I saw, got to see loads of people that I know that I've never met before in real life, but we've chatted online. So that was really sweet. And yeah, we're just gonna be, because it's been so hectic, we're just gonna try and have like as chilled a day as possible, which I'm really, I'm just so looking forward to the rest of the day being like nice and calm. Okay, my denim obsession is continuing with this denim maxi, which I just think is really good. And I like that it's got like the little frills here. One of my favorite items is like this little pink skirt, uh, which is a nice length, short, but not too short. And then I got the pink skirt in black as well, which is good. Imagine this like white socks and loafers. I think that would be cute. Um, and then I also got this little lemon because I can't wear yellow because it doesn't really suit my skin tone, but I felt like a bat, like a little yellow accessory. And I like this color combination. Would be quite sweet. We're gonna, I'm gonna make a little snack now because in the, in the shop, the shop, the refill shop, they had frozen vegan croissants and we got really excited because we rarely get to have croissants because they're always made of dairy. So we're gonna bake those and then probably watch something on TV because we don't have a TV in our living room, so we rarely watch TV. So that also feels like a novelty. And I think my brother has like loads of subscriptions to stuff, <laughs> like Netflix and stuff. So we're gonna pop that on and find something good. But to be honest, we'll probably get all excited, scroll for like 40 minutes trying to find something to watch and then end up reading anyway, <laughs> because that has happened one too many times. But yeah. We watched five minutes of Wish and decided that it was too rubbish to continue. And I just thought, I'm not wasting my life watching crap on TV. So we ended up reading instead for the evening. And I'm very tired. So I've decided to take my makeup off and get into bed and do some more reading there, which I'm really excited about. So, unfortunately, that means that I have to take my makeup off. At the Clarins event that I went to yesterday, they had, they gave us lots of really lovely projects, which was just amazing. So, I'm gonna test some of that. I actually used this last night, so this is Take the Day Off and um, 
I'm gonna use that to take my makeup off. You have to be really careful on the boat not to use too much water because you have a water tank that you fill up. It's like petrol. So, you have to be really conscious about the amount of water you're using and it, it makes you realize how much you use. Yeah, but these are really useful because they, they're called face halo. I've been using them for ages and you basically wet it and it takes your makeup off. It gets my makeup off. So I use one side to get my makeup off and then I use the second side to cleanse. The top of my lip feels so dry today. And I think because um, I think because I've been doing, and I think it's because I've been to like all these events over the past two days and talking to people that I don't know. And then I think I have like a nervous habit of like doing that or like touching the top of my lip when I'm around people that I don't normally see. I'm reading Iron Flame. I've just finished Fourth Wing and it's such a good book. Well, I say that, it's a good book. I don't know if it's written that well because I find it sometimes hard to follow, but I really enjoy the story and like some of the twists in it are amazing. But in comparison to Akatar, like hands down, Akatar is so much better. But I am really enjoying it. So I'm going to go to bed and read that. And let me know if you've read both series and what you think and if you like felt the same. Because George has just started Fourth Wing now and he said the same. He's like, oh, it's not written as well. So I just found that I kept getting a little bit lost and they change, they change the character, don't change the character's names, but they change, they call, the author calls the characters by their surname and their first name, name like at different points. And I find that really confusing because I'm like, who is this again? Like, so then it's kind of like you have to remember six names rather than remembering like three, for example. You know what I mean? I mean, there's more characters than six, than three. But yeah, I'm finding that a little bit confusing. So I'm getting through it a little bit slower than I, norm than I normally would. But like I said, I think the story's really good. And I think if I'd have read that first, then maybe I wouldn't. I don't, maybe I'm more biased. But we'll see. But thank you so much for watching this vlog. Um, I hope it's okay in this new setting for a couple of weeks. I have tried to like keep it calm and like chilled and slow paced, even though like I'm here in the big city and I've been doing quite a lot of things. The first couple of days here were just really busy anyway. And I think from here on out, things will be a little bit calmer and there will be more downtime anyway, but I'm really excited to do like lots of park walks and stuff like that. So yeah, thank you so much for watching today and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.